Hi, in this Affinity Publisher tool tutorial, we are going to look at the transparency tool. It's the icon that looks like a little bit of a wine glass down near the bottom of the toolbar in Publisher version two. It's also in version one. Uh, so I'm going to start out by putting an image on my screen. So I just have the stock window open in Publisher and we'll just uh, put this field of lavender onto our document. So what the transparency tool does, if this was a song, it would fade out. So we select where we want to start our fade, and I'm gonna hold the left mouse button as I do this. So click and drag. And so you're clicking where you want the fade to start, and you're letting go of the mouse button where you want it to end. So the black dot is going to be where it's going to be the most opaque, and the white dot is going to be where it's most faded. Just like we saw in the fill tool tutorial, we've got a lot of similar options. So we've got the slider in the middle that can adjust where the fade out starts to happen. So here we've mostly got the image and very little fade out just here at the end. If we move it closer to the fully opaque side and we start the fade right around here. So let's put it somewhere in the middle. So what I could see using this for is I'm thinking of like Christmas stationery where you have uh, stationery that you can write your Christmas letters on that has an image in the background. Uh, I could also see this being used in full color books as background images where you just set it light enough that you can still see your text over top. If you find that you're not able to get a good transparency that allows your text to be legible, you can always open your layers and on this image, just take the opacity down and that will fade it out even more. You'll always want to do a test print of something like this because a lot of times it will print much lighter uh, on a home printer at least than it will look on the screen. And even if you're doing this in a book, like for example for KDP or Lulu, you'd want to get a test copy to make sure that you didn't make this too light. All right, so let's take a look at some of the other options in that transparency tool. So a lot of them are going to be very similar to what we explored in the last video with the fill tool. So essentially it's very similar to the gradients that we explored in the fill tool, except instead of creating a gradient with a color, we're now kind of fading out an image and getting a similar effect as a gradient except with an image. So right now it's on linear. And when we are on linear, um, we can click on this rotate and that will change it. So now we've got kind of a side to side fade out because it rotated it. Let's just rotate it back and we'll move it back to the center. And you can see you can do this in all sorts of different directions just by manipulating where the start and the stop is. We can also do elliptical and that will make it more circular. So now we can grab these handles and I can push that in. We'll move this out of the way. I can push that in. I can use the center dot to move around. So maybe I just want to highlight this large flower and I'm just gonna pull this out like this. And so now you can see uh, we just have mostly the flower showing through and everything else is faded out. So again, you could use this for stationery, maybe even for a greeting card. All right, and then the next one, oh, and I wanted to point out this button here locks the aspect ratio. So now both of these handles after clicking that are going out proportionately. Click it again and then you can pick one at a time to manipulate. So we also have radial, which is similar, kind of makes a radius, except we've just got one set of handles instead of two to manipulate. And then finally we have uh, conical, which like I said in my fill tool video, I think for people doing printables and books, I'm not sure what kind of usefulness there is to this. You know, maybe you could do something like that and make a social media image. That's maybe a possibility. And then we could take the slider and see if that, yeah, that's kind of cool. You could write over here and have the image on that side. So that's possibly a use of that. Maybe you can think of other uses for it. 
So that is the transparency tool, and I hope that you found that helpful. Thank you so much for watching.